Welcome to Gringotts, Mr. Potter. To access the vault, you must collect all the forms and then hand them to the goblin outside the door. The first vault is on your left as you go through these double doors. Good luck. Do you wish to collect some canuts? If you wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Move swiftly, though, or you will have to start again. Good afternoon, Mr. Potter. I'll explain how to steer the mine cart. Swing the mine cart left and right using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the mine cart to help collect some of the more difficult canuts. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Collect as many canuts as you can to complete the level. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Care to have another go? Please return to the bank through this door. I see you have a Kanat coin. 
Do you wish to try for the sickle now? If you wish to try for the sickle coin, you must gather the correct forms again. Hello, Mr. Potter. I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. I wonder if you'll prove as talented at collecting sickles. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Stay clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. Remember, swing the mine cart from left to right using the directional buttons and use the cross button to lock the mine cart. Good luck. Congratulations, Mr. Potter, you have succeeded. You want to try again? Please return to the bank through this door. Excellent. You have a sickle coin now. Do you wish to try for the galleon? If you wish to try for the galleon coin, you will have to collect the correct forms again.
Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have quite a reputation down here, sir. The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. Steering is still left and right on the directional buttons. The cross button locks the mine cart. Good luck, you may need it. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have collected your galleons. Do you want to try again? You can return to the main foyer through this door. You've collected all three coins now, Mr. Potter. I hope you spend them wisely. Welcome to the Magical Menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. It'll cost you one galleon for the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. I've just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad has decided to hide under the boxes. 
Once you've found him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove the wart. Be quick, though. Having wards removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye! you have three nut coins. Feel free to collect your peacock feathers. My peacock lives in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. I'm afraid you weren't
I'm afraid you... collected three of his feathers, eh? I suspected you would do well. Excellent, you have three sickle coins that entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from him. His treats are on the table in the owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the eagle owl. Use the cross button to charm the owl treat, and then guide it to the eagle owl using the directional buttons and the cross button to keep it off the floor. Once he's fed, he'll nap. Then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good luck, my boy. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! You've got your feather, I see. Well done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio! Well done, Harry. Let's go back to Hogwarts so we can... 
Secure Porn Orbit. Home again at last. Now we'll give the Dragon Tonic the Norbit. We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. I'm glad he's better, but sad in a way. He's old enough to leave the nest and fend for himself now. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul, but I want to keep him here so I can look after him. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoilt brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. Incendio! Incendio! That oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous.
Incendio! I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained the unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. That was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Vold, I mean, he who must not be named, then you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be snakes after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. 
We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. training yet? This year they're even letting first years train. You should have a go. I hear you're pretty good on a broomstick. Welcome, Mr. Potter. Grab your broomstick and we'll begin the training. Welcome to Quidditch training. Whichever seeker catches the Golden Snitch scores his team 150 points. Which is why seekers tend to get fouled so much. For your first seeker training, let's practice chasing the Snitch. Fly through 10 hoops generated by the Golden Snitch. Get set. Three, two, one. Excellent. For that performance, you've earned gold wings and 25 house points for Gryffindor. Time for your second seeker training lesson. You seem to have the hang of chasing the snitch. Now let's see if you're any good at catching it. Now fly through 20 hoops, then hit the cross button when the snitch moves towards your hand. On my mark, three, two, one. Excellent. For that performance, you've earned gold wings and 25 house points to Gryffindor. In a Quidditch match, whichever team seeker catches the golden snitch wins his team 150 points. This often results in that seeker's team winning the match. Now, let's see how you manage catching a snitch while racing against another seeker. Okay, ready, three, Two, one.
excellent. For that performance, you've earned gold wings and 25 house points for Gryffindor. Run along then, Mr. Potter. The Quidditch training doors are always open for you. Harry, I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave, but promise me you'll be very careful. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. We call this monster Fluffy. Of course! Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful though, he looks ferocious.
I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. This is. It's a devil's snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Oh, I'm trying to think of... Try not to...
time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Good luck, Harry. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry, but I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely.
The next puff of the freezing. It's up to you. Oh, Harry, you'll have to make. Thank you.
I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It better not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. Charm all of these objects out of its way. Levy 
Elsa. Close one. Let's see what's next. Choose a cup that contains the knight and the shield. Did you see the symbol on the shield? It looks like an ice potion. That must be what we need to get through the fire. There's only one potion. You'll have to go on alone, I'm afraid. I'm going to find some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living.
Damn you, Potter! But, Master, it wasn't my fault. Potter, give me the stone. I know you have it. Let me speak to him face to face. But Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Hand over the stone. Potter! Ah! 
the stone. You will heal to me, Potter. Very well. I promise you'll die begging for mercy, as your parents did. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck, he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The Great Hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight.